what you're here for. Thank you. I love that. The pen is mightier than the sword. The pen is right? mightier than the sword. Paper genocide. Paper that genocide. That was a real thing. How did Europeans write us out from being native to this land to then being blacks and coloreds and all of those things? So I'll simplify it in this selfish way. Mm -hmm. If you don't read my language, you don't understand my way of thinking, and you are supportive of me, you, excuse me, you need me to mm. teach you of my ways. Mm. And whatever I tell you is facts. That's true. Right? Yeah. So that, that paper genocide happened real simplistically because as, as they put us in slavery, they was also raising children. Mm. And they was educating these children. Mm. And it goes back just simply to, what's your name? Mm. Caleb. Caleb. No, your name is Toby. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. What's your name? I'll say, now I have to say Toby. I'll be forced to. Yeah. Why? And, and it's not something you would just easily get. And the education system is the same way. Mm -hmm. The paper genocide runs deep. Because, think about this. Today, we can go to native events called powwows. Yeah. Right. And this is this is a, a situation mm -hmm. that never there is not a universal word. There was never a word called powwow amongst Native American people. Wow. I've never found that word in any native language from my understanding. I could be correct. I could be corrected. Mm -hmm. I don't mind being wrong. Mm. But powwow, which I'm pretty sure has a relationship. Every, every word has a root. Right. Mm. But this is not something universally spoken amongst Native American people because we don't have a word for powwow or we don't say powwow in Hichiti. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. The Creek language doesn't have powwow. Okay? But the point that I'm making is that so much of who we are is taught to us and accepted. But when you go to these powwows, which is where I was going with this, you will see our pale-skinned brothers, and we have to call them that because I believe there's a creator. Mm -hmm. We say father, mother, the great mystery. For sure. But we have our pale-skinned brothers there that will identify as Cherokee, Seminole, Creek, Right. They, they a lot of them rep represent us in reenactments, mm. things of that nature. And they will say. I am a Muskukali, mm. a Muskogee yeah. or Chiriqua, Chiriqua mm -hmm. or Cherokee. Mm. No one questions that they're not pretendians. The only time they become pretendians when it's nothing but white people there. Mm. But they're not pretendians and that's accepted because when you go to the Cherokee Nation, they're predominantly and look like white people yeah this is the narrative that also i talk about on our instagram channel mm -hmm. right the fact that there is federal information federal documents that says there was a unique identity and look to the creek nation mm. then they specifically talk about the white brothers and sisters who look predominantly like white men okay the paper genocide happened when we start watching the movies. Mm. Yeah. When we start believing. Remember uh, Dancing with Wolves? Mm -hmm. we can, I can name a ton of Indian movies. Yeah. Right? Leonardo DiCaprio just did one recently. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And um, I think uh, Iron Cody, uh, I just found out, he was like Italian or something like yes. that. Yes. Wow. Yeah. The, the, and people who don't know who Iron Cody is, Iron Cody is the... The crying Indian, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and, I, I, and he was he he had the the hook nose, and he was That's crazy. Wow, listen, it's, it's, it's facts. Wow, the the thing that we have to do now is understand that they never expected us to read, so they documented everything. The best thing about Google is they digitize everything now, mm -hmm. so everything that you need to know is now documented, and all you have to do is ask the right questions. Ask the right questions. Mm -hmm. You ask, you ask an AI right now something, it will give you an answer. But it may not give you the answer you want. You ask the right questions, it mm -hmm. will give you the response, and it will give you what you want. Mm -hmm. That is the Google search system. Mm -hmm. So when we start asking these questions, Creek, Negroes, Black Indians, these different things, we're going to get the appropriate answer. Mm -hmm. The thing that I say to us and our people is, the paper genocide starts with you believing what you was told. So mm -hmm. first, omit Black. Mm -hmm. Omit the black part. Mm -hmm. When you omit that part, because the black will be synonymous to Africans, mm -hmm. and it will be a part of the whole 
African Americans mixed with the Indians, and this is what you get, and blah 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 blah. There you go. One of the things that I've done inside of our Instagram and 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 everything, every chance I get, is I will search and show images of Seminole women, Creek women, and it will say Seminole squaw, mm -hmm. and I'll stop and I'll say, let's pay attention now. Yes, she looks like your auntie. Yes, she's wearing the bangs with the mm. bun in the 18, 1700s. Mm -hmm. But what what does it say? It does not say black Seminole. Mm. It does not say African Seminole. So when we start taking that part out and we start deep diving and looking and going back to the ancient Americas and we start saying who was the first people that they saw, where are the depictions, when we start asking specifically, where is the information that goes against what history has been showing us, mm. we'll find the answers that we want. Mm. So the paper genocide starts with our understanding and accepting the knowledge what we've been taught. And it's so deeply rooted because our own people, people of color, will believe that narrative and will defend it. Mm. And they don't hear the Uncle Tom, they don't mm -hmm. hear the the um, slave mentality yeah. that was embedded in them when they, when they say that. Mm -hmm. They'll defend the narrative that was given to them by their white oppressors, which is always topical, meaning that it is always something more recent than it is ancient. Mm -hmm. The real narratives lie before the more recent narratives before Jim Crow, mm. before Plecker, mm -hmm. before, you know, eugenics. Mm -hmm. Those are the answers you want to find the narratives mm. that deep dive into the historical aspect of what did they see when they get they got here 1500s. That's right. This is the these are the things we're supposed to deep dive. Stop taking the topical information, the first thing that comes up on Google. Mm. And then utilizing that as your source of information. Mm. And I don't mean that when it comes to the Yamasi because everything we got right now is right now. <laughs> Topical, know. but um, you know, so my, my point being that we have to look at this and, and it's and it's so it's so scary because it's so complicated but simplistic. Mm -hmm. It's complicated because it it, it forces people to think. Mm -hmm. If they think, then they'll say, This doesn't make sense and I gotta deep dive. Right. That's the, that's the that's the hardcore shit. Mm -hmm. But when it gets simplistic, you're like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. I see why. I see what it is. Mm -hmm. I see what it is. Mm -hmm. I had a conversation with a West Indies brother. Um, simply uh, matter of fact, if you go on my Instagram channel, you'll see him talk about the West Indies are supporting us. Australia supporting yep, us. And yeah, that was that. so monumental to yeah, me. It was beautiful. Um, and it was emotional. And we had a conversation afterwards. And I said it on a live later on. And I said to him. So we can prove that Native American people were sent to the West Indies, right? That's mm -hmm. a fact. He said, yes, that's documented. <laughs> no one can dispute that there was Native American people sent to West, West Indies. Mm -hmm. So I said to him, where are they at? Where are the people who look like the Indian people here in America? Where are they at in the West Indies? Mm -hmm. Where's this group of people who look like the, quote, Seminole people today, mm -hmm. the Creek people today, mm -hmm. the Cherokee people today? It's a good question. Yeah. The, 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 the Lakota, mm. because see, I'm attacking them now because mm. now it becomes a problem like, mm. oh, you know, you're no, no, stop. If they sent millions of Indians over to the West Indies, mm -hmm. 1680, 1750, let's just simplify it and say they just sent 51,000. How are you going to send 51,000 people to Jamaica, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Antilles, mm -hmm. um, Antigua? Mm -hmm. Name all of the, 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 the countries and islands yep. that make up the West Indies. Mm -hmm. It wasn't 51,000. Wow. Again, they said they sent more Indians over to the West Indies than they bought African people here. So there have to be a way more Indians mm -hmm. over in, in the West Indies than there is people in America. Wow. Where are they at if they look like the people we see today? Mm. Just common sense questions. Mm. This is what they're scared of. Yeah. The common sense questions. Mm. So now I'm going to tie it into you. When you go into my Instagram page, because everything that I provide is always a link in historical narrative. Yes, sir. And you look at the Bureau of Indian Affairs, mm. these people, the Department of the Interior, who federally recognize people. They take the historical narrative and their historical proof that they're tied to a historical people. And they take that information and say, how are you, you connected to them? Oh. Okay, you're federally recognized. And so they become a federally chartered organization. Oh. And you look at the documentation they have, 
it says to you, oh, the Creek Nation did very well mm. as a Negro nation. Mm. Oh, stop, back up. <laughs> Hold on. The Creek Nation was a Negro nation? Mm. And they talk about a Creek Negro Indian who was controlling it in the late 1800s. Yeah. See, all this ties back into the Indians that were sent to West Indies. Mm. See, you, you, a lot of times people hear what I'm saying. And they get caught up in what I'm saying at that particular time, but they never tie it all in. I'm trying to like, hey, let me lay this out here, mm -hmm. and then y'all can figure out this part. Piece by piece. Piece by piece, yes. right? Because that's the part of the puzzle. But when we look at this, this part of it, now the question becomes, if the Creek people, and I can delve deep in it. You know I me, mean? I hate doing par paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. I love quoting. But if we dive deep and we go into what it identified the Creek Nation as. There was not a Creek Indian that was not identified as a Negro. So I'll say real simple, where's the Negroes at? Hmm. Oh, they're the freedmen now. Yep. They're the freedmen begging to be identified hmm. by those who was once not even considered Creek. That's documented. That's documented. That there was a different, there was a different class of Creeks. The Creeks who were Creeks all looked like Negroes or considered Negroes to be Creeks. Mm. And then there was the mulattoes. Mm -hmm. There was the mixed breeds. There was those who looked even white. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to leave this show without literally quoting that statement mm. because that is more powerful than anything else when it comes to our identity. Mm -hmm. And me saying to people, stop looking for acceptance. That's right. But the only way I can do that, if I take that away from you, I have to provide you with something. And I'm providing them with the historical narratives and facts. Mm -hmm. And this ain't me. Don't get mad. Don't want to kill me. Just mm -hmm. understand we all have the ability to research and read. Mm -hmm. This is not me wanting to disrupt a, a system or society. This is me saying that we have been separated and taken away from our identity so much so that people who are claiming to be African-American don't even feel that connection. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is African about you? What do you mm. do that's African? Mm. Let's do one better. Let's simplify all that. Let's simplify all of it. You're saying we all came together if you accept being African-American. I came on the ship that you came on. Mm. Yet for some reason, Mr. British, Mr. German, Mr. Spaniard, the applications and surveys don't say British-American. The job applications don't say German American. You're all foreigners. If I'm a foreigner, why is it that you uniquely want to say African American? I'm trying to specify it. Yeah. Why? What are you keeping us from? See, no one's questioning this. We just accept it blindly. Hmm. And I say, well, what do you do that's African? So throughout the years and, and, and over this last century, oh, Kwanzaa, June 10th, hmm. Gullah Geechee. A, a word and term that wasn't even used until the 1980s. That's what I was going to ask you about. Yep. Right? Yeah. And pushing the narrative. Why? Yeah. And, and the same people, the Gullah people that I talked to. Oh, my grandmother was full-blooded Indian. Oh, okay, so back, back up. And mm. Indian tribes is matrilineal. Mm. It's a matrilineal society. So if your grandmother is, you are. It's through the mother. Yep. It's through your mother. You got a grandmother, that means you got a mother. Mm. What was she? Mm. It, it, it just, it gets, it gets real, listen, I'm here to start problems. I'm going to be in trouble hey, for this one too. We're going to be part of the problem tonight. We're going to be part of the problem. It's going to be a problem. problem.